Hi Harold, Mr. Stewart here with another episode of Wellbeing Well Away. And today I want to start off with a question. How do you scale Mount Everest? And the answer to that question is one step at a time. I've been speaking to some students and they've been feeling somewhat overwhelmed with uh, maybe a task that they need to take on or just uh, the amount of uh, things that, that have been thrown at them. And part of the reason for this is that maybe they don't have the same structures in place as they do in a school setting where they have a, a teacher there uh, standing next to them or the social norms of, of a classroom aren't there. So they have to self-manage a little bit. And that's something that uh, maybe students uh, haven't developed the skills for yet and certainly this process is helping you evolve those skills so this is a good thing in a lot of ways and I think we're going to have uh, students who are self-managing really really well uh, towards the end of this and um, you know so but going back to the the mountain climbing piece is that what I want to encourage you to do is to whatever task you're taking on is to break it into small manageable chunks just like steps climbing up the mountain okay or maybe I'm just going to make it to that tree or maybe I'm gonna make it over that ridge these are things that you say to yourself when you're climbing a mountain and it's just the same for some of the tasks that you need to take on break it into a small enough chunk where you know you can achieve it but you also feel really successful once you have achieved it. So you get those little rewards as you go, as you go along. And actually you begin to enjoy the journey along whatever path you're on. Okay? Uh, and, you, you know, I guess the other way I would relate this is had I thought that I was going to make 50 well-being while away videos, I would have said never, never going to happen. But you know, week over week, it has happened, and here we are. This is, um, you know, closing in on the 50th video, and uh, I, I'm so glad that you've been supporting this uh, this activity and and supporting me in um, in putting these on. And uh, I look forward to su supporting back and um, sharing some of my thoughts. Stay safe. Stay well.